ecstasy. Personalized time created by myself stimulates my sense to, to a point where its imprint is forever marked in my memory. Faces get pulled and covered with lights, spin and twirl. The ground rumbles with a stampede of dancers. None of us fight a silent demon. War screams from everywhere. Human humidity thickens the air, helping us all to slowly suffocate. Our clothes outweigh their purpose. None of us can think straight. Only in circles and sometimes in flashes of black can we comprehend the limits that we are exceeding. Rational decisions are extinct. I can take hold of whomever I like. I eye off those who appease me with dirty smirks. Intimidation earns me nothing. There are no trophies for heavy hands. This monster that I have placed inside me stirs my emotions and shakes my world. I am not stable in my present state of being. Records and needles being used in vain, abusing my bread and milk privileges. Peter chases Rebecca around the room and she dashes past me. I grab her by the arm and swing her around into my uh, own. Frozen, this moment will last forever. How could I ever forget? Soft hairs run the length of her neck, and trancing tones emit from her mouth. Everything that she says is true and worldly. I can hear her whispering from the other side of the room. I can feel her in my arms. Let me go. Rebecca stares at me with hot coals in her eyes. Steam rises out of her mouth each word that she commits. You are not. She points directly at me. It seems that everyone has left the party. Rebecca is pacing the room in devil strides. She keeps her distance as if she is preparing to spit or strike at me. One blow and I would be dead. The devil strides and bides her time.